between mezzanine construction, organization, and frankly just way more important projects, this one has kind of fallen through the cracks. But finally, months after our first one arrived, we're digging through what is hopefully not a large pile of brushed aluminum garbage to find the best MacBook stands. Thanks to Videoblocks for sponsoring this episode. They're the first subscription-based resource for downloading stock footage, video, and more. Stay tuned for an awesome offer from them later on in the video. So at the end of our search, we ended up with eight MacBook Pro stands, mostly because it's a common search term and we want people to find our video, but also because nothing prevents someone from using a MacBook stand with a razor blade or whatever else, unless they're terminally unimaginative. So first up is Roost's Roost Stand. Two out of 10 name, terrible. But anyway, the product itself is pretty cool. It's by far the most compact stand in our roundup and quickly folds down to 13 inches, making it perfect for carting around with you so you can quickly prop your laptop up in class or at a LAN party or wherever you happen to be. With that said, it's not my favorite as a permanent desk installation because its wobble control is unexceptional at best and its molded plastic and nylon elastic construction at this price point didn't really blow us away. 12 South's newsstand, the Curve, is more of a desk fixture solution than a portable one. And it's, IMO, by far the most aesthetically pleasing stand in our roundup today, and I'm pretty sure this one is gonna end up in Edsel's apartment at some point. But it's not the most rigid stand in our lineup, and on my admittedly kinda shaky desk, it's a little bit jarring. On something more solid though, it works well enough, so if you're after a stand for looks, this one gets our recommendation. Rain Design's M Stand comes in two attractive variants, the M Stand and the M Stand 360, and in three different colors. As you'd probably guess, the 360 variant spins around, so my first thought was POS system, maybe? But then I was like, who the heck uses a MacBook as a point of sale system? So. Yeah, according to Rain Design, it's meant as a collaboration tool, uh, so I'll leave it up to your imagination there. As a stand, it's pretty darn good, with basically no wobble. But as a heat sink? Seriously, you guys? It's obviously complete bullshit. Unless you apply a generous layer of thermal goop to the bottom of your MacBook every time you use it. I mean, rubber feet? And a sizable air gap, anyone? Hello! Anyway, adjustable stands are more my jam, so let's look at a few of those now. Rain Design's eye level has a clean, Apple-esque aesthetic and a good degree of adjustability. But the laptop holding plate is simply too thin, resulting in an unacceptable amount of wobble regardless of your desk. The near five star rating on Amazon frankly didn't make a ton of sense to me until I realized that many people were probably using this product with a 13 inch MacBook Air, and that should be fine. 12 South's high rise for MacBook is honestly no better. The laptop platform is wimpy and doesn't properly support the 15 inch Pro, this adjustment mechanism feels like they sacrificed usability to tick off the adjustable feature box, and frankly, I think it looks way better upside down. I mean, seriously, check that out. They should do a revision where it's just, they move the, the pads around and it's just upside down. Bringing us finally then to a product worth your money, the Crane Stand Elevate. This bad boy has all the features without any usability compromises. It's three-way adjustable with bottom and top joints, as well as extensions on the support to get a huge range of motion, as you would expect from a stand targeted at DJs. And while it's a little more time consuming to adjust, once you get it in the right spot, thanks to the little teeth that lock in place, it does not move. My only gripe with this one is that it looks like a piece of production equipment. And that's not in a good way. So if you're a modern design hipster, you'll probably want to stay away from this one. Last but not least is 12 South's Park Slope. It's kind of in its own category for features in that there really aren't any of them. It's all in the name. It slopes your laptop when you 
park it on top putting our 15 inch MacBook Pro at just the right angle for comfortable typing, similar to the kickstands on the back of your keyboard. The extra screen height is neck friendly, and as you can probably imagine, this one doesn't wobble. I honestly just wish they had used this gauge and steel material on some of the other stands. So in conclusion, what stand to buy? If aesthetics, then the Curve or the M stand. They're both sturdy and look great. So it's just a matter of which one matches your setup best. For adjustability, the only real option here is the crane stand. I wouldn't even consider the other two unless you're rocking a thin and light. And as for an elevated experience, my go-to is 12 South's Park Slope. It's fine, but we also didn't have anything else from this category in the roundup. So, um, oh, look at the time. Gotta go. Video Blocks has one of the fastest growing and largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, After Effects, and motion backgrounds. This includes the only contributor marketplace that gives 100% of the commission back to the artists. And all of these clips come with a royalty-free agreement, so you can't get hit with copyright claims. You can also get access to the unlimited library and marketplace for only $149 per year. Then, if you sign up today, we're giving away seven days of video blocks so you can try it out and use this massive video library and royalty-free license for free. Check it out at the link in the video description. I'm back. Thanks for watching. If you dislike this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the Amazon links in the video description. Also down there, we've got our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.